Hi guys, this is Obi from Gadget Fix. I have a, a DJI Spark remote controller that I'm going to show you how to um, disassemble. So, basically, let's get in first. Let's take off this. This is the controller, so it should be, let's have a little T6 I believe, looks like a T6, so there's two screws on there here. So there's two clips that come off. You can pry these up. Give you a better view. So that's the two screws and the clip. So now we need to Try this out. It comes out like that. Much brightness. So those are the clips that need to come out. So these two, these four, that middle one. I haven't snapped it, it's just the way they come out, they're very tough. So there's two on the other ends as well. Quite a bit of a mission to get that one off. So once you get that one off, um, you can expose these um, internals. So I can see I can see two ribbon cables. So basically two on each side. If you don't disconnect these, there's most likely going to rip when you pull the board out. That's one of them, as you can see. And another one on this side. There you go. sticker here okay. 
that aside. Okay. So. Phillips screwdriver. On both sides. One is there. And the other one on the other side. The sun very sunny today. Okay, so there's a long screws. Looks like it should just lift that. Maybe something securing it. Put them back. Okay, just clipped into place. So wriggle, 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 wriggle. Pressure from the top. Yep. Hopefully, we can get that part out too. Okay. Beautiful. So, that's the top. Pump housing, it's got the controller and the sticks on it. And this button came out, so this sits in here. And then you got the other one for the camera, the two camera shoulder buttons, so you can take them out easily like that. Okay. So that's the first part. Now we have um, two more. Uh, a two on each side on the shoulders up the top so that's one it's two and then you got another two on this side Before we get excited and pull this apart, um, you can see this sticker here and it runs and you can see a ribbon so this ribbon's most likely connected there so you don't want to pull the PCB off yet because you will rip this ribbon see when you peel it it's exposed down the bottom so I'll try and get a focus OK, 
Okay, see? That's that. Just flick that up. And this ribbon should come out now. Just like that. And now, we can release this top PCB once we take off this Wi Fi module. This looks like an, an antenna, Wi Fi antenna. So it'll come out. Once that comes out, that looks like top PCB. Just make sure it's not connected to anything. Take that out, that's another PCB. That's it. Control the sports button. And what else do we have here? Okay, so we can see four screws. Again, one, two, uh, three, and four. So we need to take them out. Looks like Phillips. Straightforward. This is for the battery. The battery is uh, sandwiched. And housing. I'll show you once I remove this. So that's for the ba battery. Two, three, and four. Today's magic number. Okay, so. Now we have this uh, battery connector. We need to release this um, as well. We need to disconnect that. So this should just pop out like that. But we need to sort of just jiggle it out. And so that's the battery for the controller. So it looks like it's held by two clips on each side. I'm not gonna take this out. Um, so the battery would be in there if you need to ever replace your battery. So it comes in housing. I'm not sure maybe they sell it with the with the housing so that's the battery then all uh, this looks like the main logic board um, so I can see um, this is for the wheel this will have a spring so you got to be careful when taking that off that's got two screws but first I want to disconnect these antenna cables always best to get in under the base so you don't rip the cable you'll need to get a whole new assembly I believe um, so that disconnects that and then you got let's get rid of this first the button that's the button for the, the gimbal okay Control. and that's also that's also connected to this little connector but you need to put a bit of pressure on this and then pull it because it's like a little uh, latch so this wiggles out just be careful because it's got a spring on there I believe so first let's wiggle that out and put a bit of pressure and then jiggle it out. Comes out easy. Easy peasy. That's the, the potentiometer for controlling the wheel. So that's that. And that's the little spring I was talking about at the back. So if your control's not working, it's most likely that spring could come loose. And then to take out the main main logic board, it's um, one, two. I can take out this antenna as well. Oh, we can add one as well. So that's a, a Wi-Fi antenna. So that's that's out as well. So I'm very sorry about the um, the light. So that's uh, you can see one, two, three, four, five six seven eight screws yeah oh there's nine sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine screws nothing under there that's great 
So once we take out these nine screws, it looks like that there's two main big ones on the sides. Let's take these out first for no real reason. Okay, so that's. And the ones in the center. So there's five of them. board should just come out Ta -da. before we have a look at the board this is the, the, the chassis um, if you need to pull out these arms there's two screws for that two screws for the other side um, everything else is pretty much straightforward so looks like I've bent that one taking something out so it's a overall very nice design. This is a GL 100A. I don't know if they've got any other revisions. So that's that's a that's how you take out everything on the DJI Spark controller. So now this is the board. Now often I can see that these these come in for replacement. They are very difficult to replace. Um, there is a heat sink. This heat sink do not try to remove because under this shield, heat shield, you can peel it back. See this on a lot of um, little designs, so just just protector. So that comes off like that, you can just peel it back, just be careful. See there's hidden screws, two screws I believe. Yep. So without lifting, without unscrewing these, the heat sink is actually, it's actually held on, so you won't be able to get off there heat sink so um, so once that off there's like a gasket there so they've sealed it really well see the gasket it's a really cool heat sink Wow, look at that. And see, that's all the componentry. Let's see a few ICs. Um, very nice. Very nice. So basically, that's how you take apart um, the whole thing. So um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Um, uh, and also, um, yeah. Thank you for watching guys.